Hey guys, before we start the video, I can do some little bit good news for those of us who are Ruby fans out there. I like to announce during this uh, Anime Expo, just like just a day or so ago, and on Twitter, X, yada yada, that uh, uh, Carrie Shark Cross Barber Dunk would have announced that uh, Ruby has been acquired by Viz Media. That's right, the creators, uh, not creators, but the people who run Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon and all that have now acquired Ruby. They own the rights. And they're in talks to basically uh, continue the show uh, later on. And not just the show, also products and whatnot too. So we'll probably get more stuff, figures, other items, products and whatnot. Like you know, but uh, they're in talks and them continuing the show. That's good news. Also means probably we can get more of um, Ice Queen, Ice Kingdom, Ice Queendom, um, Volume 2 or whatnot. That's Japanese version of Ruby. And hopefully with this news, we'll get Volume 10. So that's good news for Ruby fans out there. The show's been saved. Hurrah, but that was out of the way. Let's go with the Ruby figure review. Hey guys, I am here doing a figure review this time on Season 4, Ruby Rose from the show Ruby. This is a uh, McFarlane made uh, figure from McFarlane Toys. Made back, I think, during the mid to uh, 2010s. I'm not too sure on, on the date wise when this was made. I bought this approximately during like 2018, 2019, back when... um. The Rusty store still had these in stock because these actually went out uh, went out of stock immediately. Like I was lucky to get uh, this and a couple of the other ones that I get that I was able to get acquired. But I did I was able to get most of them later down the line, so it's pretty. But it's pretty fine. So the other ones it cost me a little bit more than these than this one right here. Uh, what's it called? This figure right here was made by McFarlane Figures, and this is her uh, outfit and character design from uh, season four of the show. Um, this is during, uh, for those who don't want to know, uh, end of season three, her entire school and city kind of fell down due to monster attacks and whatnot. And basically afterwards, she basically went on a journey to find some other artifacts to try to defeat the, um, uh, big bad guy. That is the synopsis for the story for right now. It's kind of is, I'll maybe do a whole Ruby story figure, uh, uh, lore thing later down the line if I decide to choose to. But this is the figure review and we'll go down with that figure review right now. All right, we're gonna start with the figure review. As you can see right here, we have Ruby right here in her season four outfit, which is more of a more uh, more battle damage towards uh, than how she was in season three. Uh, going through the fours, basically on her own. Now she doesn't have the support of school or anybody else. She's basically she's not on her own. She has uh, three other characters with her: uh, John, Nora, and Ren, right uh, with her. But they're going through the fours on their own. Basically, on basically almost all journeys when it comes to characters. Overall, design-wise, it's pretty nicely designed. I do love her outfit being the whole red and black and a little bit white. That's kind of basically my color scheme when it comes to, like, a lot of my own characters. It's pretty nicely designed right here. Her outfit looks good. All of her weapons look nicely designed. Her corsets, her uh, belt clips and all that. Uh, she is inspired by Little Red Riding Hood. You can see all the belt buckles and all that. Looking nicely designed and all that. Pretty nice. Crescent Rose looking beautiful and nice. We'll actually see Red Crescent Rose in a quick second. Actually, actually we can do that right now. Sable Crescent Rose right here so we can see Ruby a little bit more better. Uh, you can see the design wise on her boots looking pretty nice. Her corset looking beautiful right there. Let's uh, try to get a little bit more focus right here. Sorry about that for the focusing. Uh, there we go. Because right here, we got her scarf with a, with a little emblem right there. Pretty nice design. Looking beautiful. Her face looking as enigmatic as always. I will say, out of all her uh, volume outfits, I do prefer Season 4 a little bit better. Probably, I guess, more of the roguish kind of like design fighter uh, adventure. I do like this slightly more better. At least my favoritism and all that. And now let's go look at Crescent Rose. I have probably one of my favorite weapons here. Basically, a gigantic ass size. It's also a 50 caliber sniper rifle. Basically, take down almost almost any Grim right there. And I see on the barrel right there, and the size right here, looking good. It's almost like a handheld sickle. I'm not gonna lie about that. Ooh. And and when you get in the box, if you do end up finding one of these, it is separate. Uh, it can be separated into two. This is how it comes in the box. So when you re put it back up, it can be reattached. There's no problems at all. And though I will say a little bit. Uh, carefulness because this does because of how it is attached to the hand it does have the tendency to fall off on occasions but overall that is the figure review okay and that is the figure review for um, season four ruby rose 
uh, from Ruby. Uh, thank you for you guys watching. Uh, I'll be having more Ruby figures later down the line that I'll probably be making. Because I do have most of them as well. Once the call bubble is out of the way, this is Season 4 Ruby Rose. This is Pyro Arden, signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a nice day, folks.